Hi, my name is Dan Stacy. Welcome to Bomb Squad, oh, where me and my nerdy family try to make funny faces. <laughs> that's, that's not, it's not what he says. He's never no. said. I know. Okay, I just, I just, just did it wrong, and that was all. Uh, can David do the intro this time? That was the intro. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> so, David, where me and my, where me and my family sit around and oh shoot. <laughs> Play, play open legend. Open, yeah. Legends. Well, we use silly, silly that voices. Are open. To, we use silly voices and exploding dice. Yes, to tell a good story. To tell a great story. <laughs> yeah, I've said it now like 15 That's times. Good. Yeah, please do it. <laughs> no, Correct it's the intro. No! <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Welcome to Bomb Squad. Get ready for the next. Uh, oh no, I just said Bomb Squad. Oh. <laughs> I need <laughs> practice. And uh, RPG MRE. Yes. While you're on a roll. Okay. <laughs> so, so these are actually really good. These are called a bean chip. Did uh, everyone hear that? A I bean chip. They are black beans. Mm. They're chips made out of black beans. Here, why don't you guys, if Dane can reach them. And there's some. Oh, no. I've just. This is just regular because mild salsa. Name. Oh no, no, I've lost it. I had them. Ryan you says no. No, they're fine. You just don't want them. Yeah, I just don't want them right now. So, the benefit... Ah, oh, I did break. ...is they're a little less processed because it's a black bean. They have a really nice flavor. Mm. Calorie-wise, they're about the same as a tortilla chip. It's like 140 mm. calories for 20 grams, which I believe is about 7 to 10 chips. Depends on the size. Depends so, on the size. What about Actually, cheese? I think these are 11. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think they're... I mean, they're really good. Um, that would be good with some salsa on it, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try some? No, no, I'm good. Yeah, they're right. Grommet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Real good stuff. So, anyways, give them a try. They also have white bean chips, too, as well. I like them a lot. Ryan, you don't mind? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. Dan, did you get salsa? No, but I'm okay. All right. I have so many electronics over here, I get nervous. I'm nervous <laughs> enough with I'm my drink. food. <laughs> um... Nope, that was the neighbors downstairs. Which last episode, it was the neighbors downstairs, not Zechariah. So we're that's why we're Sorry. still missing him. Hopefully he'll be here soon. He might be dead. We don't Maybe. know. Or also throwing up. Mm. A lot more. I hope not. Me too. Because it would probably mean we are gonna throw up. <laughs> I have to deal with that. I have to make Oops, that's... We'll do we'll do our next Woo! Thankfully it's empty, but still. That was close. We'll do the next session. We all just have buckets. <laughs> just, uh, okay, roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> all right, so without further ado, let us throw up into the next episode of Bond Squad. <laughs> We left off. <clears throat> um, you guys, uh, Ingrid turned into a goblin to disguise herself and has gone down to talk with Futeg, who's waiting for her uh, down below. 
And Does that camera? Not yet. Oh. I guess we might as well. You got it? Forget. Yes. Okay. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling, rolling. Okay. So, um, and the rat, the boys are hiding. Tiri's still missing. The boys are hiding in the darkness. And uh, we left off with the um, goblins who were still up there cleaning up, kind of figured out something's weird about the darkness, started to walk into it. Iliad attempted to see with his ears. Attempt. And keyword. started to work, but then bumped into one of the goblins, and that's where we left off. So, dun, dun, dun. Um, because the goblin's blinded, I'm calling this basically a surprise round. So I'll let you roll. I think, um, yeah, go ahead and you get a roll to attack him or do something. How close am I to Brick? He's like right next to you because you were guiding him to get the other guy as well because there's two goblins. I want to signal him to like s- choke him. If I could like... Since I've got his attention distracted, but I don't know if I can do that in that split moment. Unless he can somehow see, which he can't. Yeah, you don't have blind sight. All right. right. I so do it's not up have to blind me. sight. Can, so. I, can I sense, based on the small hearing that I do have, how close the other one is? Uh, yeah, you, you have, yes. They're like right next to each other. So it's like those two goblins, you and Brick. Okay. Is blind sight a feat? No, it's a b- boom. boom. What's the attribute for that? Uh, uh, for me, it there's was several perception. impressions, there's perception. Agility. What's you, mine's alteration. You have access to it through perception. Alteration. Oh, entropy, perception, press, pre-science, presence. Which one? Pressions. He said. Pressions. He said pre-science. Pre-science. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was trying to be able, I, what is it? It's like clairvoyance and stuff like that. Prescience. Prescience. Do you oh have my all gosh, of this? Terrible. I mean, I did What's that? He has all those? No, 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 no it just, just shows the... you. Oh. Which, so I use I'm perception. wondering if you technically don't have access to blindsight yet. To perception? You need Is it showing up five. in your filtered, yeah. filtered right. boots? Did we cheat? We cheated a little I cheated! <laughs> well, he failed the roll anyway. So <laughs> That's, that's true. true. So he's learning. He you're, you're heading towards, yeah, because I think you have to have a five in perception. So yeah. that's why I don't, why I don't see Oh, it. there it is. Oh, and my perception's what, a four? Uh, Score, cost, three. what is it? Score, three, oh dear. Mm-hmm. That's all right, it worked, because you, 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 <clears throat> I didn't you know. roll well. It's all, all right, good. so I'm going to... So you found him by walking into him. <laughs> <laughs> I did perceive something. Um, well, that's why it's called a blind sight. Yeah. Right? That's how that works. So in that moment, I want to take my dagger and try and just go straight up into this throat. Yeah. And then kind of yank it down. Now you can can do, you could do the Bane Silence, because that's Mm. through agility, which you have. Or you could try to damage him, and then if you do an exceptionary, 10 or more over, you could then silence him. So the trade-off is you just silence him, but don't do any damage, or you do damage in the hope that you can silence. Oh, gosh. Choice there. <clears throat> or you could try incapacitated. You might have access to that with agility as well. It depends. That might be power level five. Incapacitated. That might be power level five. Five, yeah. Yeah, um, so you don't right. quite have access to it yet. Maybe I will silence. I'd rather keep him quiet. Okay, yeah. So I have to roll, right? Yep, so rolling agility. So agility. And what is silence? I think that's again. Power level two. Toughness. Toughness. Yeah, agility versus toughness. Yep, so you're rolling to beat the goblin's toughness. Oh, darn it. Come on. Oh, please. Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. okay, exploded. <laughs> nice. So that's 12 plus 8. Yeah. So 20. Oh, there we go. Yay! Oh, yeah, you definitely do it. Yes. So you could use your daggers to basically slit his throat so he's like... It didn't cause damage. Or you're choking him. Some... How would you like to do it, basically? Yeah, I think I'll... um. I've got my dagger. Well, no, no, no. I would have sheathed my dagger. I'll choke him. Okay. So you, you, as soon as you bumped into him, you just grab him and start choking him, and he's struggling. You can make a sound to tell Brick what's going on, but Brick doesn't know. Okay. Do what? I mean, do I hear the choking? Can I? Should I roll yeah. perception? Roll on? perception. Um, let me pull up blinded. I think you're still at a disadvantage five, because I think you just for sound as well. Yeah, because I think you fail. Okay. Let's see. In the darkness is blinded. Where's blinded? Blinded is a bane. 
let's see. Disadvantage five? Yeah, you automatically fail if it's just sight, but if you aren't just on disadvantage five. Oh. Oh, Nat nice. one and a one. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> can I go? Ahem! I mean, you can okay, do no, that. Not really, but. Oh. Bubba, That's get right. that. <laughs> Bubba. So here's oh, what happens. Oh, got it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the no no of filming. So, Brick, what happens is you hear the choking. You you felt Iliad guiding you to, to do something, yeah, and you hear a choking hands. sound. You think he's choking next to you. You think oh, Iliad's right. choking. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. I'll give it, you time. It, it, it would be Do I you. take an action? Yeah, you can take an action. All right, then I, I would like... Um, like, whip my right arm. Is he on my left or my right? Left. So I'd whip my right arm around and just like try to like pull him back and lunge backwards. Well, oh, you're, and try, yeah. <laughs> you're all gonna and you like, like try to, to like figure out Feel with your hands to see yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Oh, so. Right. <laughs> 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 Are we like the same height ish? Yeah, you're close maybe. to the same height, yeah. I think you're what, six, three? I don't know. Oh, they touch thicker than me. Yes. <laughs> just just a hair. T H I C C. I think you're a couple inches taller. <laughs> Our boy, thick. <laughs> Brick is okay. sick. So yeah, you can definitely do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You can, you can definitely do that. I don't know what that is. Um, because he had guided you, so he had been just touching your arm and then let go. So you know he's right there. So you can reach and grab him. Um, I'd say roll a might okay. to pull him back. Iliad, would you resist him on this? Oh gosh, what should, he's pulling me back to where we were? Yeah, he's kind of well, like... Well, I have a nat 20. I feel like... <laughs> oh, dear. Damn, boy. Oh, or nothing's I, 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 so I feel like if he's pulling us away, well, I'm just going to hold on to the goblin. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just... Okay. Uh, so, You both 31. disappear into the darkness. <laughs> so he's basically grappled you. Can I just say that's that? my first nat 20 of this entire really? campaign? Legend point! <laughs> Legend point! <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me! I love that really your flies, but... Money, please! It's the first time I thought of it. <laughs> oh, Thank you. that's funny. Thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> Ryan's been riding the other players to give out their legend points. There's no session. point to not giving out a legend point. There's, there's... Hey, that was a, uh, that was a pun, actually. There's no point to not give oh. out. Can I have another legend point for that, please? <laughs> no, you know what the Dream Podcast guys do? If it's a bad joke, they get a negative legend point. <laughs> <laughs> Might start bringing that in. Puns, puns, puns. Caleb Chexfield had a stroke. He so. died somewhere. <laughs> it's a friend of in a field. Puns. Better go check the fields. Better go check the fields. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways. Okay. Uh, where are we? Okay, so you so grab one. Yeah. I'm With your nat 20, you realize as you're grabbing him, that Iliad is holding the goblin, because Iliad's, you know, twice the size of the goblin, he's picked it up, so as you grab it, you realize, oh, Iliad's choking a goblin. So but you pull him back, and you guys go, go down. Um, the goblin's gonna attempt to resist the silence then, and he's gonna have advantage because you're all falling. No, um, he won't! All right, he will. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was like gonna say a bane or something, but no, he's just <laughs> telling me I love what's gonna yes. happen. He rolled a four and a one. Yes, <laughs> that was right. <laughs> so, I spoke it yeah, into you're existence. Yeah, <laughs> you're both holding him down. So you both went Dush. Now the other goblin is going to attempt to perceive that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. I'd say he heard the noise, and um, he's gonna be like, oh, "Hey, start reaching around for his trying to feel." Yeah. yeah, he didn't. Do he's, something. He he rolled low <laughs> enough where he saw it, but he's not sure what's happening. So he's starting to feel around. He's like, "Need done, need done," and the other goblin's going, 
<laughs> um, Demeter, I think at this moment, is gonna do something. He's gonna try and receive. Smash him with a hammer. <laughs> Explode his head. He rolled a net one. Dang, oh. Demeter. Demeter's like, also going like. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the stones that he was creating? Yeah, they're there, they're there. They have no perception. They're though, doing so this. It's just a straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, stone men. Well, you could like yeah. clear away the darkness and just steal um, these little things. <laughs> one last bit is Moloch, which. Which now you actually know his real name. I don't know if they knew that before. Well, I don't think the characters know it, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Just everybody else does. So, actually, I think what Mala's gonna do is like, uh, let's get the other. And all of a sudden you feel the darkness starting to fade away. And as he's feeling it, that's when the goblin um, suddenly looks up looks and sees as the darkness is fading back into Moloch and, and yours is dissipating. The goblin's like, about to say something, so. Who turns it? Well, I guess it's really you guys are kind of distracted now, so the it's ground. between the, the NPCs. So we're basically going to do an agility roll to see who's quicker. Okay. So Goblin got fourteen. Oh crap. Um, Demeter has no agility. He got fifteen. <laughs> So the goblin is, as, as the darkness fades and it's like, <laughs> ah, <laughs> Demeter just yes. whacks into him in that moment and um, uh, he can do the incapacitated. So he's gonna attempt that. I guess we'll say that's the role to in incapacitate against that. So the um, he hits the goblin in the head and it just well, falls to the ground unconscious for the moment. Um, the goblin that you guys are doing, he's going to do his second resist, but this time it's just straight roll. Unless, I, I would say you guys can have a moment to re rearrange. Do you want to assist Iliad in, in holding that goblin down? So that's the only goblin, right? Because The other one's works. unconscious on the ground right now, but he could wake up in any minute. What's wrong? I was just saying kill it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you meant the camera. Can I break, no, no. Can I break his neck or something? Oh, you can try to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, At this point. He gets first dibs, I guess. You better yeah. do. Come on in. He's here. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we let everybody know. <laughs> What's my convenient excuse for not being in? You know how you spotted those torch lights? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. missed one. And it yank they yanked you out of the tunnel. So you're sort of, oh. like, missing right now. <laughs> you're, okay. you're currently We're trying missing. trying to find you. <laughs> um, they decided to when they realized where you had been taken, you're now down in this area. I'll, I'll get to exactly what sure. you see and stuff, but um, the one thing you noticed while you are where you are is this giant explosion just went off, and the goblins are all freaking out now, and they're going to inspect. That's a good sign. It means, that, it means that if anyone died, they won't have an embarrassing repose like the last people we saw. That's true. <laughs> so, um, so where we roll. are. Yes. I was about to break his neck. Yeah, and oh, I'll yeah. say you have advantage on the attack, so you're rolling, you can roll... D20. Um, you can roll agility, I guess, to bring out your knife, maybe, and slice his throat. Okay. Or break his Advantage hand. one? Yeah, that's cool. Advantage one, because Brick is helping you. Come on! Hot, oh. hot, hot! Dice is hot! Woo! Yes! Nat 20, oh, it explodes! Oh my gosh! Come on, again! It's a little over 12. 12. 24. 12. Awesome. So what we'll say with the nat 20, you just quick, you immediately no, just... Yes. You, yes. Something like that. What? I was trying to add. Uh, <laughs> I mean, with the nat 20, the 20 and 12, uh, it's, you he's dead. Him. He's very dead. <laughs> so um, it was great. you quickly just snap, and you hear that nice crack in the body goes limp. And you, you, as soon as you do that, you, you reach over with your knife and you stab into the other one who's unconscious. So you actually kill both yes! of them in that 20. Ooh. Um, you that. So uh, the, the cat looks Give that man a legend. Bro. I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I should Kristen's give you the only one who hasn't given a legend point. <laughs> I haven't. It's stitchy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so you guys gave him you just do power reels? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna change it up here because 
Can I hold on to Iliad for a little bit longer? Yeah, and just absolutely. Say, we like should, a man we should do this. A, no, we're just... I feel like you're kind of like on top of me yeah. a little bit. A little bit of blood is now leaking onto you. Yeah. I'll just say, you know... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> If you guys are making that, it's going to be canon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there has to be something, right? Well, I guess if it's sensors. Right, it's, it's more like sensors inside. I don't think you need to really clean off the front. That's an interesting question. I mean, Mass Effect, Halo, Dead Space. It's mostly just sensors and right. cameras. And it has the internal, like, what do I want to say? Ecosystem, not ecosystem. Oh, the way Halo, the only armor <laughs> yes. does actually crack, and it is actually that's true. A yeah, HUD. That's true. Um, I just okay. want to hold on to Iliad and say we, we should we should do this more often. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of agree. You're, we're both just looking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> and also, there's a dead goblin body on the and Iliad's got his knife in the other one. It's <laughs> not uh, surprising how uh, comfortable this is. Wherever yeah. you are. <laughs> the, cat, the cat jumps up on the, the dead goblin's body and is like, if you're all done with your little romantic moment, we need to rescue some ladies. And he jumps off and starts heading out. Ladies and babies. Right. Ladies and babies. Oh, that might be the episode. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got to Okay, um, so we'll first we'll hop over to Tiri to catch Tiri up, and then we'll hop to Ingrid. Sorry, you're going to get a lot of hits with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and babies. It's just so weird. <laughs> yeah, you might. You might. I don't know. They're um, going to be very disappointed. <laughs> right. Every single one of them. <laughs> so, Tiri, what has happened to you? <clears throat> or you had channel. seen those lights and heard those voices. You mm -hmm. had turned to tell Ingrid what was going on because she was right behind you. And all of a sudden, someone had yanked you out and wrapped this like metal wire mesh around you. And you immediately started to struggle as you could, as best you could, but they had you right in there. And uh, there's just this nasty goblin face looks in and just says, King, not like <laughs> and pull, starts dragging you and you're trying to struggle. Um, they then drop you off this, this cliff. Um, Oof. Drop him up? Where the elevator was, they just throw her over the side. Um, Spent through worse, Spent through worse. It's only a 30 foot drop. Yeah, 30 foot drop. Take seven points of damage. Jeez. Uh, as you just slam down on the ground and then all these other goblins and Hobbs start running over and they're like poking at you. They're very excited to have a gnome. Um, and then they part as this giant, giant goblin. He's large for a goblin. He's okay. like three and a half feet tall. Maybe he's starting to push halfling height and he's very overweight and his skin is kind of wet and he's, he's munching on this like leg which you kind of recognize as a Maru leg. And he's just That's like right. gnawing on it. It's wet and gross and he's like, <sighs> Uh, we have another one of our little siblings as a guest. <laughs> I love being the life of the party. I promise I'll be the death of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> death for certain. Rolling agility. Uh, yeah, well, it might be a deception. No, we'll call it agility. Agility? You're hiding, Pim. Okay. You should also be completely non-visible. Yes, I'm taking that into account. Um, 21. 21, that's pretty good. Sorry, I didn't have it. Oh, also oh, yeah. easy. You would like some black bean chips oh. and salsa? salsa? That's, that sounds much better than the four. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. You got 21, you 21. said? Nineteen. Ooh, <laughs> man. For a moment, I thought you smelled young, but you're just stringy. Well, you don't look like a spring chicken yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I like them stringy. It's our master who likes them young. Hmm. Come with me. And he, they start. They drag you roughly, and um, you hear the telltale. And there's almost this moment you, you kind of 
think of Ulysses for a second, but then this not Ulysses oh. troll looks, comes and grabs you and starts dragging you and they throw you in a cage over here. Uh, you're still wrapped up in that wire mesh. So in a wire mesh, in, in a cage, cage, bunch of soon to be tenderized goblins running around. <laughs> yes. I've had my time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't see Pim though. That's that's impressive. Ooh, I was probably my most nerve-wracking role so far. I was like, oh my gosh, you better roll good. Yeah, right. um, I prefer my campaigns dead baby free. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you're as you get thrown in and they lock the gate and the troll kind of just puts stands guard, all of a sudden there is this massive explosion from where you were dropped down from. I mean, it's like huge, and fire comes golfing out from over here. Um, Got a perfect oh, time. Rolling, right? <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just wanted to double check. Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember. Um, everyone watching is going to laugh at me. Yeah, you turned it on. <laughs> um, yeah, up high from where you fell, this, this fire, and everyone starts freaking. The troll's like, mm, mm, but he just stands his guard staying there. And several of them run, and then you see... Uh, another, this goblin with, roll a perception for me, actually. <clears throat> 23. Oh yeah. Ooh. This goblin that walks up has an oddly familiar hump ah! on its back. <laughs> <laughs> like, and no other, goblins don't tend to have that kind of deformity. They get lots of weird stuff that happens to them, but not humps on their back like this. So. Oh, okay. And, you know, you can piece together. And there's a big, as you big know. explosion. Um, sounds good. So, um, I'll, <laughs> and the I'll look up at the, the hump just goes I'll, like this. <laughs> I'll go look at. I'll, I'll, I'll try and get the attention of the, uh, the of the troll and be like, "Sounds like an impressive doorbell. You should probably go answer that." Hmm. Roll persuasion. Yes. No, <laughs> Zach. <Zen>, no. <laughs> Twenty-three. Yeah, yeah, oh gosh! Great. Uh, uh, he, he puts a twist. He he looks to you just like, mm. and everybody's kind of running that way. So he's gonna start heading yes. off over Actually, here. Yes. <laughs> so the rest of these guys. Yeah, well, right. this guy, I say. Well, we'll see based on where Ingr what Ingrid does. So Kill me. we're gonna hop over oh, yeah, Ingrid. Right. <laughs> oh. So as the troll's heading down, you see that one goblin have a little conversation with two other goblins up there, and then um, that that uh, one who told you you'd be tasty comes back out of the building he had been heading into and I, heads I, over. I want to know exactly what, where the one that said I would be tasty is. Is that that one? Yes, nice. this one. Okay. Not as overweight, but he has a whip like that, so that's why okay. I'm using that token. And uh, he, he point his whip up at the humped goblin and calls that hump goblin down and the hump goblin makes its way down and um, just looks at you. You're going to make a delicious meal. I'm a great hubs. cook. Oh, oh, but I can cook. Oh yeah, I like that. We're gonna make, Soup. we're gonna make it. <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. <laughs> We're gonna make this one cook itself for you guys. And all the hobs start clapping. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go in with little sister. Which um, you would know, goblins and gnomes, um, the mythology is that they have the same ancestry. They were created by the same deity. Mm -hmm. And goblins believe they were created first, so they always call gnomes little siblings or little sister or stuff, and it's it's derogatory. It's not okay. meant to be endearing, obviously. So, because um, they consider you guys, they, the theory is gnomes believe they were the favorites of the deity, okay. and the goblins rebelled. So it's kind of, again, you don't know the details, but it's that flavor with, gnomes and goblins just don't get along. Gotcha. So, um, Ingrid, unless you want to do anything to, Two Hobbs are gonna come over and start escorting you to the, the same ah. cage where Tiri is. Ah. This is when you see Tiri. Oh. When she shouts the soup thing, you see her right there. Okay. I, I might need some ingredients and stuff, you know, I can help prepare and stuff. What you're wearing will be just fine. Get her okay. over there. <laughs> and they start taking you over. What do, do, 
Iliad yeah, and Demetri and I hear, hear anything? Do we... Yeah, you... So that's happening while you guys are dealing with the, silencing those the, other uh, goblins. So about the time you finish, you could come out and peer as they're putting Ingrid in the cage. So two of the larger goblins here open up the cage and then one of them kicks Tiri back, kicks you back mm -hmm. against the backside of the cage and then throws this goblin in and they're starting to lock. What do you guys want to do up above? So how, how, high, how high up are we? About 30 feet up over here. Okay, so <clears throat> you're jumping down would incur, well, with my armor, it might not. I don't know. Well, your armor would take a hit. But if you're purposely jumping and trying to jump well, I'd probably have you roll agility, see if you could, you know, soften the fall. Okay. And 30 feet's 30 feet. Right. Um, they did barrels. set that ladder up. I know. I the goblins like, oh, did oh, set that right. ladder up. And there is that pathway that went around up above, too. I feel like I want to, like, do a perception. Yeah, do you want to sneak to the edge and perceive this? Sneak to the edge to perceive, yeah, because we know that she's down there now. <clears throat> roll an agility to be stealthy, and then... Agility. Yep, and I'll say uh, roll with advantage because they're very <laughs> much distracted with right now. With advantage, me? Yep. Agility? Can I do a roll? Because I want to I see how many people are... Okay, yeah. Because we're near more barrels, right? Yes, there's more behind, behind you here. still, because you guys are able oh, to keep them. So, so can I can I perceive how many are right below? If I kick the barrel down, how many are right below? Mm. Currently at this moment, you can see that. You don't have to roll for that. You you can go ahead and roll. 17 was my agility. Is perception with advantage as well, or? No, perception is just regular. Okay. So what I'd say is right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, these ones are putting out the fire. That was the perception, though, right? Yes. This three. one's gonna. It wasn't the agility. Stay true, with him. True. So there's really there's two hobs over here putting out the fire on their tent here, and Futig turns around when he tells Ing sends Ingrid away. And he's like, and the troll's just there, and he just whips the troll, and he's like, "What are you doing over here? Get back with the prisoners! Nobody called you." And, and so. Um, currently, he's going to be demoralized. No, <laughs> so I want to give Tiri a good one on that roll. So he starts heading back. So I'm going to say he's just turned around, and Futig whips him one more time on his back. Um, so there is, there's kind of two hobs off to here, and then Futig. Really, they're more like here. Futig and this other goblin, and this one you can spot. What'd you roll for perception? Three. Three. Okay. With it. There's a one. nat one. Oh, a nat one. Okay. Two. Or uh -oh. three, as I know. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, My agility was, was 17. His agility was 17. His, oh, I know. His, oh, okay. I know. <laughs> um, so, I, Ily, I picture you lying down on the ground and you just slide up and peek your face over. Brick, are you doing anything? Um, or are you peeking over with him? I wanted, I wanted to get barrels. To, to oh, that's right. That's right. To push over the edge. Okay. So we'll say, Iliad, you see that. Maybe Brick, you're like, see how many are right there. You know. Um, so the you see the troll has just turned around. There's this one goblin here. So this is Futig. You see him. Now you don't know it's Futig. Right. But you see this very overweight Well, goblin. no, I said his name, and he didn't oh, yeah, say it right. wasn't his name. So. Right, but they didn't see who you were talking to. Oh, oh. Because they were in the dark. I can't, why do I remember, remember that name? Well, the goblin you had dominated told us said the too. leader. Yeah, so That's you right. could make the assumption he seems like he's the leader. He's yelling at everybody, whipping the troll. Mm -hmm. And the one next to him is this goblin. You can't actually, you assume it's a goblin. It's goblin height. You can't actually see it because he's wearing like all metal armor and this giant like metal tower shield. Again, when I say giant, goblin giant size. So it looks more like a normal tower shield, but for a goblin it seems giant. So, And it's a very beefy. Rather than a beer gut, it's a lot of muscles. It seems to be on it. But again, completely covered in metal. Um, so, that's what you see. And then you notice um, goblins have these kind of shorter pointy ears. Um, almost like, you know how Tiri, the, the gnomes have those floppy dog ears. Whereas um, goblins have like German Shepherd type ears, very pointy dog ears. You see it twist around towards you. As you had turned, and you had turned to tell Brick what you saw. So Brick, you hear what Iliad saw. And then Futig looks up and 
suddenly whips his whip out at you. Ooh. Dirty feet! Um, he's not aiming necessarily for you. Great. Because you are right on the thing. But it's, it's a good whip. Pulls the ladder down. Little butt face. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So he's going to shout out, we have more guests, and he whips, and his whip wraps around the ladder and pulls, and it smacks you across the face, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> he, as it, as it hits you, that's all it does, because he didn't roll very well, so you take three points of damage as it like smacks into oh you, <clears throat> and then you see him point up and over this way and say, there's more over there, get them! And you start hearing patters on that, that walkway. So they know at least you're there. All right. Can I start dumping barrels down? Yeah, Wait. you want to. Well, do we need Futik, though, alive? Mm -hmm. Do we? Can... Yeah, I want to, but... I think Brick would already have started dumping barrels over. Yep. That's, That's what fine. you're doing. We're gonna do it. Um, you're just throwing them over? I'm dumping one, but I see a campfire, right? Over here. Yeah. You guys are kind of here. Can I try to... How near are the barrels? Can I, do, like, one by one, like, just push them over? Um, you'd have to pick it up and walk. It would take, like, your full turn to, like, grab it and throw it off the edge one at a time. I would say a, a combat okay. round. Okay, then I'll throw one over. Okay. And you just you want to try and hit it to the fire? It, it's close to the goblins, as I can. Just try and throw it on top of the goblins? Okay. Yeah. Oh, did it stop? Sorry. <laughs> oh, can I, your, can I, like, your mic. Demeter, fire? I don't know. Can you make fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Demeter, fine. fire. Um, fire? Oh. <laughs> so. Not good. Six. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, like, asking Demeter as I'm throwing. F fire? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I get thrown in the cage, I want to look at Tyrion and say, I'm sorry, I didn't do anything. And I took you. I got scared. Well, this is your rescue plan. Yeah, of course. This, this, yeah, this was the plan. All along. Yeah. One, okay. of, the, one of the goblins here po pokes you. Can't, can't move my arms to face Paul, but definitely, definitely <laughs> trying. <laughs> <laughs> one of the goblins pokes you with his sword and says, No talking! No talking. Okay, sorry. Um, and then a barrel comes flying down. Futig just steps right aside of it and pff, it falls down there. I have to look and see what Demeter, if Demeter can do something. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, he doesn't have energy per se. But you're not tied up? No, I don't think I am. No, they didn't tie her up. And have they locked the cage? Yes. They did shut and lock it. Well, I want to see if I can do something about the metal binds or whatever. I'm sure you have a toad for that. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. Melt I know it's uh, toad. <laughs> no, but, um, as you're saying that, Demeter's like, I can't, I can, uh, Iliad, make my life look like fire. And he, he points his war hammer towards it and sends, uh, uh, suddenly makes the black powder that fell and, you know, cause the heat, the Futig steps aside there and there's black powder spilled everywhere and he lights the black powder up. So roll your influence to create a phantasm of like it exploding. To make it an illusion of it? Yes, because he doesn't have anything that could okay. actually light so, it. So I can't remember, Bane, right? Yes, phantasm. Phantasm. Masticated. What do I need? And that's your influence? Influence, which is... Oh, detect. Please. Woo! Nope. 27. Mm -hmm. 27, okay, yeah. Woo. As you do that, <laughs> The troll turns around and he falls down on his back as we see him because like all of a sudden the, it starts to glow and it's not like because the light spell starts to activate and then as you do that, what do you play your flute a little bit or yeah. something? Yeah, so I you just like whip out the flute and... You close your eyes and you play this flute and just thinking fire and you're playing like this bouncy 
very uh, explosive theme, and it all of a sudden, and Tyrion, Ingrid, you can see this, it looks like the black powder, rather than igniting, just seems to like, um, what's it called when it explodes, when you explode, when it spontaneously combust, mm -hmm. spontaneously just poof, in this bright white light, and Futeg falls backwards, which is rather hilarious because he's very overweight. So it's like one of those, like he's on one leg and he goes down. <laughs> he probably can't ah! go back up. <laughs> falls into this guy in the shield. The, uh, the shield bearer by him is, is like stumbles back and then is trying to help him up and these guys go running in fear. Um, so you have this moment now. I'm turning to try to undo. Undo Tyrion's. Yeah, really kind of as, as silently as I can, but I have an acid frog. <laughs> okay. To melt the All right. Lock. We're on agility to be sneaky. <gasps> um, and they'll have disadvantage on their perception because an explosion happened. Oh, sucks. <laughs> okay, and then roll, roll your alteration to, to undo the bars. Man, that d20 sucks. <laughs> Nat 20! Hey, right. Nat 20! Um, 24... Does it explode? 27. Yeah, everything explodes. 37. 37 with a nat 20. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> not speak, you bastard. Yeah, you know, you like try to pull it out, but the frog jumps as you take it out of the so you quick catch it and then just pff, squeeze it. And the one goblin, as he's going to whack at it, it, the acid just spurts everywhere. So now your chains have all been weakened by this acid. You can easily rip it apart. And it started to weaken the bars of the cage itself. So it landed nice. right on the lock. So you guys could probably power it through. However, all these goblins here have turned yes. to look <laughs> because they all saw what happened. Not this guy, but these four right here. So it's two of the larger goblins and two of the smaller ones. Um, <laughs> this is so chaotic. Okay, and... Do you want us to roll for I think we're going to roll for initiative at this point. <laughs> okay, I was like, at some point we got to do I that. Know, yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, so our uh, shoot was a little hectic this time, so we're cutting the combat in half, so I'm just doing the outro here. Uh, my son's playing with dice right beside me, so forgive the clanks and noises. <laughs> right, Torin? Yeah. So, anyways, uh, thank you to all, all, all the awesome people who let us use their uh, soundscapes, their sound effects, their music and ambience. Check out all the links to uh, see what they're up to and to utilize them at your own tables. Thank you to Hero Muster for the awesome uh, character sheets, item creation, NPC generators, everything. It's really great. And uh, check out openlegendrpg.com, full core rule books on there. You can start learning and playing right away. It's really great. Join the community on Discord if you'd like as well. And uh, check out the Dream Podcast guys. They're running another actual play in Open Legend as well. Anywhere you can anywhere you can listen to podcasts, they'll, they'll be there. And, um, yeah. Anything else to add, Torin? Really? Yeah. So, that's life. We'll see you next week.